Good morning, guys. Can you guys hear me? I see you. Well, I can't see me, so there's something wrong here. I'm going to leave and come back. There's something wrong with this thing. Hold on. I can't get on. I can't get up here. So, oh, maybe it's my camera. Let me take this camera down. Nope. Okay, let me let me leave and come back. I'll be back. There. There. Yeah. Now we're back in order, maybe, I think. Yeah, I'm pushing buttons, you're right, this much are good. Good, mo good morning, Sterling. Good morning, Jay Chizzo. Good morning, Papa York and Dislogic. Um, yeah, I'm pushing buttons. <laughs> Bye, Becca. Um, anyway, we are live. And I have yet... Um, well, I guess I'm going to wait until somebody gets in here and knows what I'm talking about. Don't press the red button. I haven't even brought the red button over here yet, but I can't wait to do that. I just haven't thought about it. Um, teacher, how are you? How are you, my friend? I want to water my ear. I am undead, a.k.a. live. Good, 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 good. Glad to hear that. Coin Junkie, good morning. Hey, hey. <laughs> Got so much stuff here. <clears throat> I don't know what to do with, so I have to do this a little at a time. Let's have a diary here, and I haven't found it yet, so... Oh, maybe this is it. Okay. Ah, there's that little sucker. All right. this out real quick. April 16th. April 22nd. I don't know yet. Okay. Alrighty. Um, Mama T, good morning. Came Friday, good morning. Hey, Mama T, you know the, you know the, uh, uh, what do you call that thing, the Walking Dead? Well, I was watching um, Game of Thrones, and they have what, they have night whatever, and I'm assuming it's kind of the same thing. I don't know. But anyway, it's different. <laughs> It's weird. Weird, weird. Hi, Siren. Oh, I hate these pop-ups. You know, I've got pop-up on my phone and I cannot get rid of it. I have done everything. I have I have turned off everything that does notifications. Um and it still comes back. And it says stuff like drink water. And I can't get rid of it. I cannot get rid of that thing. I would love it if somebody would tell me how. 
I mean, I can get rid. I can I can get rid of it right now, but it's going to come back and first time I pick up my phone, and I don't know how to get rid of it. Hey, ATS. Good morning. Siren helpers little decorations. Find the app that it is and turn off notification. Dislogic. You cannot find an app on my phone that does not say that it's turned off. I have gone through every single thing. Everything. I've gone through advanced stuff. I've, I've done everything that I can. See, I can hit the X and get rid of it. Okay. Go into my settings, hit notifications. Notifications, where are you? Where are you? Somewhere in here are notifications. Sounds notifications. There are no notifications on. None. See, here's the apps. They're all, oops. Well, they were all off. Did they? Can they turn themselves back on? Big C's on. Calendar's on. I kind of want the calendar on. Don't need that one. Contacts, I don't read. Really, all of these are turned off. Google Play, Google TV. How do these get back on? What's Libby? Links to Windows. So every time I get into one of these apps, it turns itself back on. Is that what happens? I got to do this every day. Okay, Mark. <laughs> Truly amazing. Let's get over here. <laughs> All right. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me find it. Okay, I got you. Hang on. <laughs> okay. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Brown Sugar, good morning. Joe, good morning. David, good morning. God's great, good morning. Truly amazing, good morning. Okay. Let's see how long that takes before it comes back. So every time I get into my phone or anything I do, it's going to turn the app on. Is that right? That is ridiculous. So once a day, I have to go in and delete everything if I don't want it to show up in the morning, right? Hey, Chief. Good morning. Okay, somebody in here has to be a phone guru that can tell me that. Or not. Okay. That's all right. You don't have to. Okay. Jake Sterling, somebody come up. Take to the Apple shop. I don't have, it's not an Apple. It's a Samsung. I don't like Apple phones. People have too much trouble with them. And they're too expensive. I bet there's, it might be, yeah. Not unless you come up here. If you come up here, I'll give you a banner. How's that? How's that for, um... How's that for a, a deal? Joe, I don't know. I keep getting these stupid advertisements. 
I mean, I don't know what what it is. I can hit just about anything I hit, it comes back. Makes me so unhappy. And then I get this notification that says, Systems settings for notifications are disabled. To enable notification, tap OK and select the notification you would like to receive. So what do I do about that? Ignore it. Turn it off. Dismiss it. Go with it. <laughs> what to do? Good morning. Good morning, darling. How are you? So on that app that you're looking at, up in the right-hand corner, is there three little dots? No, sir. So all the way down at the bottom, is there anything no. that says <clears throat> subscribe, unsubscribe? It says do not show again, dismiss, or okay. There's got to be a way to block those ads. Yeah. Okay. Well... I'm going to dismiss this. I'd like to know how to get rid of apps altogether. Well, I have a dozen apps I just want to get rid of. And I, yeah, I think you have to delete them as they come in. I know that's what I do anyway. But I have an Apple phone that I do that stuff on. Yeah. And you have, what did you say? An, Mine's an Android. Android. Okay, now let's see. I'm going back into... To, notifications just to see if there's any more that okay there's an, that, that's yeah. it papa it's a good whack joe i there's no way to delete them i can't figure it out i've been messing with it for years see i, I did leave it out. My phone, yeah. I just can't yeah. get rid of. quick share okay um, usually now are those coming how are those coming in Ida? are they coming in by text message or they're just yeah but mark how do you it's, uninstall it's, it's it doesn't matter. Tell you how. all right mm. quick share allow sound and vibrations what does that mean i thank you well, truly no. amazing I, I do like my silver cooter allow sound and vibrations means at the same time you're going to hear your phone ring whatever ringtone you have and it's going to vibrate when you get a phone call. Samsung Health, Samsung Internet, Samsung News, Samsung Pass, Samsung Push Services. I don't know what any of this is. Well, one of them is good, turns on and off the ads. Yeah, right. It's probably, probably not this morning is a good time to start going into them one at a time and look at them. But when you get a little time, you're going to have to do that. Look at them each one at a time. That. I did that just a little while ago and, and turned them all off. And every single one of them I turned off or back on. Oh. <laughs> now, explain that one. Oh, I can't. Because, because you accessed them again? I haven't. But what, one of the features I love is deleting emails. Oh my I, God. I get a whole bunch of garbage emails to one of my email addresses and I go through and I delete them. Five minutes later, I'll be back. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of emails. But yeah, I'll delete, I'll delete 30, 40, 50 emails every day. Yeah. And yeah. They, but I do it yeah. in a pack. I'll, 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 look down the emails and say okay these 70 emails i don't need to keep any of them and i'll delete every single one of them at one time boom yeah. i i kind of do the same thing i've got three or four emails at the bottom of that list that i want to keep forever and so i'll i'll highlight the whole thing and then go and unhighlight those couple of them okay and delete the whole thing and five minutes later i have to do the same i have to do it twice before they go away well, now some of the emails you can go in and unsubscribe. I have got so it'll get many rid of junk email. Which app button? I mean, that I, you know, I three or four of you have said that. Press the app button until a delete comes. Which app button? On the app itself? On 
the page where all the apps are at, I don't understand. I don't know. Exactly. But but this smartphone is smarter than me, I promise you. And um, I have I have two mailing addresses you all probably know. Well, I can't delete the personal one because I've got so much stuff in it right now coming from my customers. I can't delete that. I have, and I've tried putting them in folders. Well, it nah, doesn't work very well either. I was going to say, that's how I do mine. I have two different uh, email addresses also. And uh, one of them I use the majority of the time, and I have folders set up. Like if an email comes in, I want to keep it, I'll put it in my chief stacker folder. And if I don't, then psh, I do. You have a you have a gray. I have a gray. Zed's place. Zed, welcome to the she shop. There you go. Now you're not. Good gray. morning, Zed. Good welcome morning, Zed's shop. place. Did you get to listen to me grind this morning? <laughs> Papa York, that is the truth. You know these phones are spying on us. Um. Oh, Rogzilla says, hold your finger on the app, Sterling. The app will flash with that X on the on it. Hit it, and it will delete. We'll send it again. On the main screen or in the app? Probably, yeah, probably yeah. on the main screen. Okay, both I want. Return us TV. Well, so far all these apps I use. I've got half a dozen of them that I never <laughs> use. And, you know, and they come up with updates like two yeah. or three times a week. It's like ridiculous. What's the difference in widget or something like that in apps? Hi, ho, Silver. Good morning, Rockville. Good morning. Oh, a widget is a term that you use in economics classes for. What do you an, do? Undefined, an undefined product? At least that's the only time I've ever used the word widget. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody in here know? <laughs> widget? I don't think I've ever used that word. Well, we got them on our phones. Widget one did you just take? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, give that back to me. That's mine. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious, guys. Quit being a widget today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, this thing's a widget pain in the. Okay. All right, Mark says a widget is an app that you can put onto your main screen, like a weather app. Where do they come up with these names? Well, I, like I said, widget has been a word that they've used in financial um, classes forever. Yeah, I know, but to match them up to some of the stuff they match them up to. to up with them, now, yeah. I, name, I, I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Who comes up with this stuff? Okay, guys, I have another question. I have a Samsung, and I want to get a clock on the front of my Samsung right there. How do I do that? Is it an under view or something like that? I don't know what it's under. I'm just looking right now under settings. Yes, under settings. Yeah, you should have clock there. I should say clock. Okay. Yeah, so can you uh, control? So like, display. Should be able. And to then it'll give you an option for an analytical or a digital clock. So far, I haven't even found the clock. 
you should have an app that's that's automatic with your phone. Oh, good, another another app that shows that shows clock. You know, it's a it's a app everybody gets when they get the phone and get it loaded and stuff. Well, you might. I haven't had it. Oh, I know. I did on my Apple phone. I can use it for a stopwatch. I can do all kinds of stuff with it. Well, I can't. <laughs> I can't find it. Hey, great Scott. Hey, Ida. So there there's the a man. widget. A widget is kind of, you see all those icons you have on your screen for all your different apps. A yeah. widget is similar to those, but it can typically be a little bit larger sometimes, like the clock that you want. Uh, yeah. that's, that's a widget. It's also can be uh, basically it's interactive. You can do something with it other than on the other ones, you push them and it opens up that application. With a widget, you can have different types of interactions with it. Mm -hmm. So to get the clock on there, what you want to do is on your home screen there about where you want to put that clock, you just hold your finger down there. Okay. And you should see some options pop up uh, down at the bottom. It should say widgets, uh, second from the right, possibly. I found it. Okay, click on that. And then okay. it's gonna give you different options of widgets that you can add. Cool. Uh, you can scroll up or down, but uh, if you scroll up, you should see clock in there. I got it. I'm just looking at the different ones that uh, it's allowing me now. Right. You've got different options. You can have an old school clock with uh, the arms or new style digital. <laughs> Get the one with Roman numerals. Yeah, they have some cool ones. Look Good. at that one. Woohoo! Nice. All right. So now I, go, I can go back by doing the same thing. Good morning, Angel. Thank you. And you can adjust the size of it. Steve, I feel sorry for you. Allergies yeah. are a pain in the butt. I know mine are driving me nuts today. <clears throat> Wait a minute. None of these clocks are the right time. Okay, um, it's minute. probably just not. It might not be set to central time. It's not going to okay. show the correct time until you actually have it done and finished and you've selected it. Okay, now how do I get rid of my first one? Uh, just push and hold on it, and then you'll see a delete option okay. will come up. Gotcha. Okay. Oh. Or you can usually drag it after you push and hold on it. You'll see a trash can pop up, and you can drag it over to the trash can. And How cool is that? I have a clock now. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Is it set for the right time, Ida? It is set for the right time. 6.55. I got 7.55 on mine. Yeah, well, yours is wrong. What can I say? We're in Ida time now. What's wrong with you? 7.55. <laughs> Who do I want to go back an hour? Okay. Well, that means We're something. Ida time, right, Scott? Great, right, Scott? We're living on Ida time. Well, if we're going back to Ida time, then that means I'm crawling back in bed. <laughs> All right, great, Scott, I got a question for you. It goes sure. up I'm on, on my main screen, what if there are multiple apps under the same icon? Okay, that's called a folder. So let's say like, basically I have so many apps and to keep them all organized, I have folders that contain them all. Like you've got a whole bunch of apps for food, right? Your fast food kind of stuff. Rather than have them all scattered, uh, I just, to start a folder, let's say you have two of them up there. You've got McDonald's and Burger King. You take one of them, you push and hold on it and you drag it over on top of the other one, and once it hovers on top of it, you let go, and it'll it'll create a folder, and it'll have both of those in there. And then you can continue to 
grab any other icon and drag it over and drop it on that and it puts it in that folder. So yeah, the you folder can also is just, that folder. You can, and you that, can pers that is, personalize that folder if you want. Yeah, you can also you can yeah, put, you can name that folder. You just tap on it and then at the very top um, after you open up the folder, you'll see a uh, label or if you don't see a label, you'll just tap towards the top. You'll see, you know, the little cursor pop up right. and uh, you can change the title of it. But it's just a, a combination of those little app icons, you know, to okay. kind of see keep that them all right there? together. See that drink water thing? Where does that come from? I can't, you know, I, 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 I don't know how to get rid of it. Uh, same, just like the other clock. You just want to push on it and hold down until it brings up some options for you to do with it. Doesn't bring up. Whoops. I got another problem for you. Steve, what if you've got an end, but there's no icon for it on your home page? Then you look in your app drawer. Typically, you pull up your app drawer by What's swiping. An app drawer? by swiping up from the bottom that will show you all of your apps or you can swipe down from the top and you'll see a little cog you know your settings little cog wheel yeah, you yeah I know that, that. when you click on that you can scroll through your settings to find uh, your apps and that'll give you a whole list of every app that's on your phone Okay, and how do you change the name of the folder? Uh, you you click on the folder first so that it opens up and kind of shows you what's in there. Mm -hmm. And then at the, at the very top above where all those apps are, uh, it should it should have some kind of name. If not, just uh, just tap your finger up there and okay. uh, it'll, it'll bring oh, up your more. <laughs> This is fun. This is um, this is uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, apps one hundred and one, phone one hundred and one. Right. <laughs> I love it. You know, it, it does make it so much easier and nicer when someone can just kind of walk you through it real quick. Same yeah. Time. Okay. What? Well, get over there. Oh, I don't need two of the same one, so I can get rid of one, right? Oh, yep. Stop it. Removed. Okay. How cool is this? Well, you have made my day. That is so cool. I've always been into gadgets and whatnot, so of course. As soon as I could, you know, I got my parents to get smartphones, and it's a it's a test just to get them to understand it, and then beyond that, to actually use it. You are <laughs> like there's, there's a period where you don't understand it, so you don't even bother like trying to pick it up and use it. But, and that's my my problem is I don't remember if I don't do it all the time, type right. stuff. I don't remember. Oh, how do you do that? Oh, I'm trying to remember how to do that now. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. It takes regular, regular usage for sure. Yeah. Repetition. Got to okay, be repetition. I'm with this phone all day, guys. <laughs> <laughs> how cool is that? And if you, if you, oh, well, that's the alarm. Okay. Why my clock has alarm? Yes, so I can get rid of that one. Okay. Oh, this is too cool. Yeah, the new one alarm you have, Ida, you can set it up for music to play instead of, you know, for your sound. Now, with a widget, you can typically change the size of it. So along with being able to change the location, any of those icons, you can push on it and hold there until it can be moved and you can drag it around to where you want same thing with the widget but with the widget you can push and hold down on it 
until it, the border on the outside of it lights up and then you can let go and that border will stay there and that's basically telling you that you can change the size of it you can drag the borders to the left or right or up or down and you can make it bigger or smaller if you like this is so cool yeah so cool and in um oh i would have loved to have that so what is this i have one that says any desk what does that mean uh any desk any desk it seems like it's uh mm. so here's another thing you can do if you're not sure what something is you can just push and hold on it and then you'll see uh, a little icon to the upper right it'll be a little eye and that eye is for information okay that'll take you into your app info that sometimes will kind of it, it'll tell you like the permissions that it has um trying to think uh, okay, then down at the very bottom of that app info, there's app details in store. So that'll take you to the app in the store where you download your applications. And by clicking on that, you can find out what that app is for, what its usage is you know, okay. intended for. <clears throat> Everybody That's felt what I was thinking. Mark Thomas said it's a remote for your desktop, basically. It's so that you can access things on your computer from your phone. Chat hasn't moved in five minutes. Everybody sound asleep. <laughs> well, I'm totally lost. Everybody's saying totally lost, right? And Mark, Mark Thomas also says if you don't use that app, uh, the any desk, and this was what I was going to say, is it can actually be kind of dangerous. Um, he says, get rid of it. Someone with the password can control your phone. Okay, so, yeah, so that's one of the mistakes I think I made with my mom when I was teaching her is I told her to be very careful of what you use, what you click on, you know, like it's just so easy to be, to get a virus and, you know, have your bank account drained or, you know, uh, stuff like that. So then she didn't want to pick up the phone. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that any desk, it, it can be a blessing or a curse. So if well, you're I not just, using I just it, deleted it, yeah, that's a good idea until, you know, in the future, if you find that it could be useful and you want to use it, then you can always download it later. What about your apps like Square and um, Cash App and Zelle and all that stuff. PayPal. Yeah, I keep all those in the folder as well. Okay. You just want to make sure that they are secured using a fingerprint or facial recognition. Okay, so I don't know. Well, I managed to get rid of a few things. The one that really I like double verification. Uh, double verification for certain things i like that yes two-step verification is ideal absolutely okay so that is so cool okay so then um what's the other besides oh one is cash app isn't it where's cash app Okay, now I can't find my folder. Oh, there it is. Nope, nope, nope. Where's my folder? Good morning, Jay Smokes. Oh, there it is. Way over there. How'd you get over there? Oh, I am going to enjoy this. Oh, stop it. My folder's running away from me. <laughs> I mean, literally, I'm trying to grab this and put it in the folder, and it's moving. Oops. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you do have to kind of chase it to get it to stay on top. <laughs> Phew, I got it. Good morning, Chris Levine. Uh, 
What do you call that folder that you put all those things in? Um, for those, it's usually like financial or uh, bank or something like that. Okay, gotcha. Well, I'm loving this. What a great, oh, Jace Mokes, good morning. How did you uh, get you up there a little bit more and we'll get you blue. Get away from that stupid heart. Good Are morning, you know what? Jim. Yeah, I've got one I just can't find to get rid of. Okay, hang on. It's here in settings, it's there, but that's the only place I can find it and it pops up for wanting to be refreshed all the time and I just so how many secret Santas we got signed up? Fifteen so far. Yay. Awesome. That ain't bad. Yeah. We need a lot more out there. Come on, y'all. I what I what I said is if I had twelve I, it was a go. Yeah. By the time I had ten I said okay I'm I'm gonna make it's gonna go. But I mean <clears throat> you know I it, at this point, it doesn't matter how many people we get. I mean, because it's just an email per person for me. I did have one person, though. They sent me their phone number. It said, text mm -hmm. me, it's easier. So I texted them and I said, I need this information. I don't have enough information. You're not in until I have all the information. Well, you're kind of getting a little bit hard nose, aren't you? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not a sweetheart like you. I'm a son of a bitch. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> and he's and he's running the the um, Christmas thing. Poppy always says you can click on name and chat. You don't have to only click the three dots. Oh, all right. Let me see here. Oh, you're so sharp. All right, learn something new. Thank you, Poppy Ark. That's a nice looking piece dollar there. Great, Scott. Yeah, thank you, is. thank you. It was a gift from my father. Very nice. Yeah, high relief. Ringmaster Ray, I do like that movie. It makes me laugh every time I see it. What movie? Bad Saint. Yeah, it was a good one. What What is the name of it? Bad oh, Santa. I don't guess I've seen it. It's a It's a very adult Santa movie. Yes, yes. It's It's not It's not made for little kids. Although there is a little kid in it. Billy Bob Thornton. Um, uh, Billy Bob Thornton at his very best. Billy Bob Thornton. Oh yeah. He nailed that part. I will brown sugar. Everybody, please keep him in your prayers. I know I told you that uh, he went into the hospital and was out within a week and seemed like everything went fine. Well, unfortunately, he just got told that he needs to stop taking blood thinners because uh, it apparently is still bleeding uh, in his, his skull. So, Who are you talking about? My father. Oh my goodness! Oh, I sent my yeah, we had we had a scare uh, a few months ago. There was a you know ice storm, and he slipped, and you know banana peel slipped, just went straight back on concrete, and uh, didn't really think anything about it. He felt okay, uh, but a, a couple of months later, it turned into uh, you know almost full debilitating, like just out of nowhere. Um, oh kind goodness. of thing. Dementia type symptoms and yeah, yeah. So we got them in, and you know, they had a quick, you know, like fifteen minute surgery. They they cut open the skull, got the you know debris out of there, patched him back up, and uh, like I said, he was you know home within a week and already doing great. You know, as far as recovery and. Uh, getting maneuverability back out of the left hand side of his body, um, just everything doing great. But uh, but 
then yeah, I guess I guess they did the CAT scan and saw that there's a more accumulating again. Oh man. So hopefully, you know, again, he was on blood thinners. So I believe about 10 days out of the hospital, he started to take them again. And uh, yeah, so hopefully, you know, putting the blood thinners aside for a while is uh, going to allow him to, to heal up. And knowing that it's still a possibility, you know, it's kind of up to me to remind him that uh, you, you don't exercise while you're bleeding. <laughs> you, uh, you just you try to uh, keep everything mellow and just take a vacation, sit back, <laughs> you don't need to be exercising. Well, he, he needs to heal. Well, he's going to be in my prayers. You can bet on that one. Thank you so much. Absolutely. He's definitely in our prayers. Thank you, sir. My Thank prayer you. list grows daily, and I don't mind a bit. Isn't it? And isn't it just about the best in the world when you know that prayers work? Absolutely I mean, right. You know they work. I'm always a firm believer in the uh, the uh, prayer working. Yeah. I've been praying for a dozen years that my daughter find a way to come back to the continental United States. Guess what? It's happening. That's right. Charles, I'm sorry to hear that. Charles is uh, not having a good morning. Uh, his sinuses are giving him headaches, so he's going to rest. Oh, and... Charles, we can say prayers for you too, brother. Yep, yep, absolutely. absolutely, we can. Bless your heart. Yeah, go and rest, Charles. Yep. Don't don't worry about us. We'll just yeah we're we're not playing games. We're not playing games today. We'll just well, we are playing games with our phones. And even we'll if we were. Even if we were, your health's more important. Yeah, we, we'd figure it out. Exactly. I know I know how to spell the word go. I could probably type it in. Yeah. It's a difficult one, though. It stretches me. Well. We're, we're safe in the single syllables. Kind of. <laughs> when, when you get to the word two, I get confused. <laughs> You know how many times I have Sonic in my phone and McDonald's? <laughs> Domino's pizza for me. <laughs> I mean I keep I keep finding all these apps that have McDonald's on it. So I don't uh I think one of the best things is gonna be to clear out your uh, your home screen. So when you're on the, oops, when you're on the main screen of your uh, phone, yeah, you can, you can generally swipe to the left or to the right, and there are different pages. Uh -huh. um, on my phone, I don't have any extra pages. They're all on just one page. I don't have to swipe left or right to try and oh find an app. They're so you all got you got folders with multiples in each of them then. Exactly. I, I've organized it to where it all fits on one page. So um, I should move. Well, now what happened that, to my clock? That's, that's how you start it out, is you start moving everything to the page the farthest to the left. So you want to swipe to the left so that you get to the page all the way to the right and start moving things over move it all the way to the, the page that's all the way to the left. And then yeah. once you get all those other pages empty, then you need to actually delete those pages. And that'll help to clear them out. It'll help to unclutter things. Well, then you have to remember what folder you put stuff in. <laughs> well, right. So to give you an idea of folders, um, 
uh, actually the one with all my banking in it. I also have all of my shops like Amazon, eBay, that kind of stuff. And I have that folder called shops because, you know, if I'm going to shop for something, I also need my banking information sometimes, you know, to pay for that stuff. I'm going to be using PayPal and whatnot. So all that goes in one folder. That's all my, my regular shopping kind of stuff. And then, like I said before, I have one that's just for food. So I call that one food folder or fast food. Then I have another one for socials. That's going to be like your Facebook. And actually, that's where I have my YouTube because YouTube is more social than like uh, entertainment. And that's another folder that I have is entertainment. That's going to be, you know, like Netflix, uh, Paramount Plus, Disney, all that kind of stuff in that folder. I have yeah. one for one for clouds, like your cloud storage, um, Google, Microsoft, uh, Dropbox, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Well, what's Great. the difference? You're way too organized. What's the difference in cloud and Dropbox? No. Uh, they're the same thing. They're they're both just uh, remote locations that store information for you. Mm -hmm. They're just they're different companies. But your cloud, you can lose that. Where your Dropbox, you don't. Is that right? Uh, I don't know what you mean by lose it. No, they're they're really basically the exact same thing. They're just, it's like having a memory card, but okay. on somebody else's location. One's a Ford and one's a Chevy. Okay. These days I prefer Chevy. Well, I don't, I don't have any of that remote storage stuff. You, you know, uh, Steve, when we were in, I was in Arkansas and uh, with my ex and his wife, and we were ordering fast food. We ordered Uber. And for a half a mile, half a mile, they wanted forty-eight dollars to deliver. Whoa! Whoa! Forty-eight dollars. So of course we didn't do that, but I could not believe it. Who was that? Uber. Oh, do you have DoorDash? We tried DoorDash too. Um, no, maybe that's what it was. It was DoorDash. Oh, yeah, sometimes wow. they just they know when they have you bent over a barrel and some people are going to pay it because i use doordash all the time and i've never paid nothing like that i know we didn't we never did either but we but we didn't that time either but it was like are you kidding me we're ordering 12 dollars worth of food and you're wanting to it was like i'm not believing this I am enjoying this so much, Mr. Great. Scott. I'd be afraid Uber eats. I'd get my food and see a big old bite taken out of it or something. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, someone's eating my side. Let me know when you get one of those pages cleared off, and I'll t let you know how to delete that page. Oh, you mean you need to delete pages too, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's what makes it all so much easier. So you, you can't even like, you're not going to be swiping left and right so much. Okay, I got you. I got to find my folders. I'm having fun just chasing down these folders right now. <laughs> yeah. And then finding the ones that I have multiple things on that I didn't know I did. Right. Eric, I'm even worse than you. I have one bank account that I have on one computer that doesn't have any of my other social stuff on it. But if I'm, if I'm going to make a payment via computer, I have to go to the one computer and there has to be money in that. I have to put money in that account to do it because that account gets no automatic deposits. 
Yeah, but I, I am. A, I am. De I am now. deathly afraid of somebody stealing all of my assets. Yeah, I went down and set up a, an account at the bank, at the credit union, just for gold and silver and playing around and spending. Exactly. It That's what this is for. Yep. Separate and so, I mean, if, if some if somebody cracks into my system and can get in there, the only thing they can get is what I happen to put into that account to spend. Right. Or keep in there. Right. I don't keep anything in there. Oh, I do. I keep usually about a thousand or so. Uh, I might have under five dollars in there. Orta, good morning. Good morning, big silver bullion. But then I run all of my accounts down to nothing every month. We're doing play with the phone this morning. Telephone 101. <laughs> Is anybody going to auction anything off today? Oh, listen, who wants to work? This is more fun. YouTube Studio and YouTube TV. I can delete YouTube TV. I don't use it. I'm going to just sit and watch the precious metals for a little while and see what happens. They'll sit there. there. They're, they're, they're not animate cheap. They'll just sit there. They can't do anything. Yeah. I'm just curious of where they're going to go. Gold especially. My goodness. Oh, they'll probably go to Toledo. You think gold's going to hit 2500 I think it's going to hit 25000 I think it's going to hit a hundred thousand. It wow. doesn't matter because it's worthless. The not the gold, but the dollars are worthless at that point. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, so now I need one that says. Good morning, Copper L. Social media. Where's that? Copper L. Good morning. Told the wife, spend it all. Okay, here's another McDonald's. Can you believe that? You know, Steve, I, they're trying. They're trying to do that with gold. They're putting out all kinds of paper gold, and they're putting out all kinds of paper silver. Their system is failing. It's not able to keep the prices down the way they used to be able to. Yeah, they're trying hard in China and here. Absolutely, Steve. India. Besides China, India is one of the largest buyers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep, they really Just a week them. ago, India bought 80% of the world's silver production for a year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, how can you do that? You know, you sit back and think, how can you do that? And ch there are... are China produces a lot of silver. They produce a lot of gold, and they don't sell a gram of it. They import more. How come I can swipe to the left, and I have certain things, and I can go up, and I have different things, and sometimes the same thing? That sounds like a thing. Swipe to the left, swipe to the right. It's a new dance. We, we'll swipe it forward, when, swipe it back. <laughs> when <laughs> you're Amy. Uh, but you gotta make your swipe take your tail feather. It's a new dance for your thumb. Okay, guys, okay. <laughs> swipe it forward. Swipe it right. When you're swiping up, you're mm -hmm. bringing up your whole list of applications. That's opening up your app drawer. That's every single application on your phone when you when you do that swipe up thing. So I can go in there and delete a bunch of stuff. Uh yeah. yeah. And if you do that though, they'll they'll be gone for good until you decide to put them back on your phone if you want to. Okay. So is is wiping up the same as swiping up? <laughs> <laughs> Chief, watch it. <laughs> okay, so then. Wipe down that table. Uh, some of my wall that it doesn't want me to delete, I have to chase it down to delete it. 
and do the hokey pokey when you swipe it all around. Right. <laughs> I can put it on my home screen and then I can do that. Oh, that I said that then didn't work. Don't make me mad. Okay. Ah, some things you have to install rather than delete. Uh, uninstall is, yeah, uninstall is how you get it off your phone. Oh. Okay. So if it says uninstall, that's better than trying to hit delete, right? Or remove. Okay, so like you said that you had multiple McDonald's on there. Yeah. If you... If you just delete them, then you're you're only deleting that specific icon. You're not actually deleting the McDonald's application. You're just okay. getting rid of that little shortcut. Uh, but if you actually uninstall it, then that's going to get rid of every McDonald's on your phone. You it would all go away at once. Well, I don't want to do that. So if I delete the one that says clock. Oh, I, mean, I you well, never eat at McDonald's. Get rid of all no. of those apps. That stuff is just poison. That's different. The clock is, uh, it's like a tool. So if you delete or get rid of that clock, it's not going to get rid of it forever. You can always add it back. Okay, I got you. Hmm, that's interesting, Big Silver Bullion. That's interesting. Oh, when I did that, both of my clocks went away. Orda, the thing is with that is it's kind of like buying the ETFs over here. They can buy into it, but they can't physically hold it. Okay, I got to find my clock again. How do I do that? I forgot how to get to the widgets. Okay, so just anywhere on any screen, you okay. push, you just in a blank spot, you push and it. hold your finger there. I got it. I got it. And that's also the location where you delete the pages that you're not using. You can swipe okay. all the way to the left or to the right. And if you see an empty page, you'll also see a little trash can above it, I believe. And you can delete those pages that you're not using. Okay. Okay, so this one right here, it says Libby, L-I-B-B-Y. And when, I mean, it looks like uh, it, it's an app, okay? But when I swipe okay. up on it, it's got Amazon, Apple, battery, all kinds of stuff like that on it. I'm not familiar with that application. See? I'm trying to get rid of it. Doesn't okay, want to so uh, to get rid of Libby, you're going to want to go back to your, your main page, your, your home page, and you would swipe up. That's going to get you into all of your applications drawer. Okay. And then you'll then you'll swipe over to the left or right. It's probably in alphabetical order. Uh, oh. You'll just swipe over until you see Libby in the L's. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, Steve. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, oh, see Libby. I will uh, I will get a hold of Gold Siphon Farmer to take care of that. Thank you so much, Steve. That's very nice of you. And I'm sure Wounded Warrior Project thanks you as well. It's too cool. Awesome, awesome. Huh. Okay, I can't find it. It wasn't in your mm -mm. app drawer. That's strange. Yep. Let me uh, let me look it up really quick. I'll find out exactly what Libby is. There, is there, are, oops, there are some applications that are 
just kind of baked it's called baked into your phone it's uh it's just ones that are included that you can't get rid of it's just part of it's just built in <laughs> but let me look for libby see what that does i'm popping down in chat i gotta make breakfast yeah uh, maybe some chief yeah i'll Mom take a Mom and I take blood pressure medicine, so we both have to make sure we eat. I'll be in chat. All right. I can't find Libby. It's uh, it's odd. L i b b y. There's one called Libby by Overdrive. I wonder if it's a Samsung application. Does that one look like it was like baby blue colored or something? Um, well, it's kind of uh, it's different colors. Okay, I'm deleting that one. Let me see what it's the different colors is. Good morning, Angie. It's kind of, uh, let, me put, let me get on the big screen, I'll show you. It's the top one. See, Libby. Oh, okay. Okay, that is that. That is the one that I found. Let's see. Uh, that okay. one, discover and enjoy ebooks and audiobooks. So, yeah, that's okay. just for books. Okay, so I want to get rid of it, but it won't let me. Yeah. So you just go to your, your main page and try swiping up again main page. from the very bottom. Okay, got it. I see it. Yeah, hold on to uh, it. Yep, push and hold down. Oh, push. And then. Yes. Oh, man, it says yes, and then it disappeared. Come on. It's okay. Go back and do it again. Well, wait a Okay, let me go back. Let me go back. Oh, come on now. That doesn't want me to do when I close everything and do it again. Okay, hold it down. And, oops. Now I've got two of them up here. <laughs> That's okay. Once, once you get it uninstalled, it'll get rid of both of them. Phew. Okay, it did. Nice. Holy Toledo. You, can you gotta know about this stuff, don't you? <laughs> Ida. Uh, the pizza guy is gray. <gasps> no. Oh. Let me get over and fix you. Pizza guy. CPR. CPR. Mouth to mouth. Get some color back in there. Yeah, really? You. you need you need some blue in your veins. Okay, you believe me. <laughs> All right. Well, this is so cool, y'all. I am so excited about now. Now I know a little bit more than I did when I came in here. Not much, but I found some more buttons to push. I still haven't been able to find my app drawer. Uh, just. And you have an Android, right? No, I have an Apple. Ah, okay, okay. Um, I would think in the settings there would be a search button. Or actually, I think on your search bar, you can, it, it will also search your phone. It's not just like a Google search. It's also like a system search. Yeah. So if you type in there apps, it should bring up uh, options for like an app folder, I would think. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. How cool is this, guys? Um, Phone 101. App Flyer Framework, App Store Tracking. <laughs> New down, newly downloaded apps, access within apps, 
offload unused apps. Would that be it? Um, yes, it, it's, it's going to do what it's saying. It's going to give you options to get rid of applications. And if that's what you're looking to do, then that's not a problem. But I'm just warning you so that you know you're going to be in a no, place that's where... That's not taking me to where I want to go. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. How do I find the location of apps on my phone? Go to the home screen, then swipe left past all of your home screen pages to get to your app library. That's right. Your apps should be all the way to the far left. Ah, found it. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> okay, you need to be a regular on here all the time. <laughs> you know, after explaining it to my mom and dad, uh, I forget who it was, but someone suggested, like, that would be a really good course for older people to to kind of have instruction, you know, on, on how to use their phone well. All right, when I found that, I, I found the app that I'm looking for, okay. and I, I held down it, and it, add to home screen, if I add it to home screen, then I can delete it from there, right? Uh, yes, but you should also be able to do it directly from where you're at. Is that the only option that it brings That's up? That's the only option it's showing me. Okay, go ahead and give that a shot. Um, you, yep. Can I ask what the application is? Fox Sports. Okay. And it's gone. Um, it's gone. I got rid of it. Oh, awesome. Except for it's still showing up over here on my list of apps. So it might be one of those things that's just baked in. No, I added it. I added it at some point, and then okay. decided I would never watch it on there. And so, so try pushing on it and holding on it again. And when you do that, look around the screen to see if like a trash can pops up to where you could drag it over to the trash can and drop it, or try dragging it to the top or bottom of your screen. Uh, and generally you'll see like something will light up in red or it'll like kind of go to a trash can type thing. I, I'm not too familiar with Apple. I kind of remember some things when I was able to play around on one, but that's weird. Let's see. Well, I put it back up on my home screen and held it down and I have remove app, share app, edit home screen, home odds, watch, score. So I just do the remove app. That's the second time I've done that. And then when I go back home, it's still in the list of apps in the app yeah, library. So it's, so it's just removing it from your home screen. It's not removing it from your phone. You want to uninstall it. Um, I would go to your app store. You know, I found another place in here where it's located. Let me see. <laughs> Sound like mine. Yeah. Right. Now it's got the whole thing shaken. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Eunice says it might start shaking and like pop up a little X in the upper right hand corner. Um, that might be if they start moving with the A sign and you can delete it. Oh, with a, a minus sign. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, I got to go to the AT and T store next week, anyways. Yeah, I'll get them to remove it for me. Because there's other ones in here that I removed 
and they're still showing up on my in my app library. And I just yeah. want them to go away altogether because I don't want it coming up in my update list. Right. It's just taking up memory that I don't really need to be taken up. Yeah. Angie, I am failing with learning how to use my phone. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> well, you know what? Sometimes we get it and sometimes we don't. Bradley, good morning. This is one of those things that if we if we do if we get it, we did it good. <laughs> I don't know. But, you know, I was in the phone store a month or so ago. And they told me that they wouldn't touch my, they would tell me what buttons to push, but they wouldn't touch my phone. Why? They said they've been sued too many times. Apple? AT&T. Oh, AT&T. Yeah, well, AT&T, what do you say about them? Ma Bell. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, anyway. So, all of, all of y'all in chat, see this little banner that Ida's got running across the bottom there? If you want to play Christmas in July, send me an email with your screen name, your mailing address, whether it's P.O. Box or your physical address. Morning, Crafty Dragon. And... What I will do is when I have all of the names at the end of May, the last week of May, I will randomize names together and I will send you an email. That's why I need your email telling you who your victim is. And you will have a month to learn something about that person, find a gift for them, and get it to them so that they will have it by the beginning of July. I love and how you say that. I start getting people contacting me saying, I didn't get my gift from my secret Santa. If by the middle of July that isn't all cleared up, we'll start publicly shaming you for not doing what you said you were going to do. Sure. And I will not cover your lack of being a good Santa. But if you are a good Santa, this is a fun game. And I've gotten some really great presents from some great people, great Scott. Just don't make Sterling mad. <laughs> oh, I, I'm not going to get mad. The person who will get mad is the person who doesn't get their gift. Yeah. <laughs> I got an awesome gift from Brown Sugar. Actually, three gifts. That was it's awesome. Fun. I, every gift I've gotten from anybody has been fun and great and wonderful. A few of them have been just off the charts mind blowers. Like what I got from Great Scott. <laughs> um, like what I got from Miss Tizzo. Um, but the, the thing is, is I really like about it is I got gifts, things that are cool, things that fit my personality. But I probably never would have bought for myself. That makes Sterling, it fun. You're You're starting to scare me because... <laughs> my my memory is not I, i'm afraid that 
maybe I, I smoke too much because I don't remember having you for a secret Santa. I had Ida one time. A couple, couple years ago. Was it? Okay. Oh my gosh. Time time is flying by. Rod, Rodzilla is not bad at being secret Santa either. Do not listen to a word he says. <laughs> not bad. Hey, Rodzilla, how'd you like that last night? Would you like? Oh, he had he had some candy last night. Oh, nice. Victoria, good morning, darling. You guys scare me with your candies and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's, it's a Ida. It's a four twenty thing. I uh, yeah, I figure that out. <laughs> Figure that one out finally. Yeah, now you're all educated on what 420 I'm is. All educated. Hey guys, you know, if you can just yeah, I'm I got it now. Not a problem. Not a problem. Maybe. Uh <laughs> y'all just don't go there. Where's Paula been? Yeah, she wasn't here yesterday either, was she? Uh -uh. Wasn't in Angels on Monday? I have to call her today. She's probably got some kind of kid crud. You know, when, when you live with those little rug rats, or they live with you, rather, you get all kinds of good stuff. Yeah. Hey, Ida, I hate to bring up work. Then don't. You're doing for me coming along. It's doing good. It is doing good. I wouldn't know I'm not going to show you. You just have to trust me. Oh, I trust you. I trust you. It's adorable. I'm hoping to. Well, I'm not going to tell you that because I don't know for a fact, but it, I can actually sit in my chair to work a little bit longer now. So hopefully I can get this going really soon. I know I'm, I, I've got all everything done. It's just putting it together. Oh, she was, on, on all it was not on live Q and a on Monday. So she must be having a yeah, rough time. She must be sick. You better call her, Ida. I will. I'll call her. Well, wait, wait until it's actually daytime where she lives. Yeah. Yeah, give her a few minutes for a call. I'm glad you're getting some relief, Ida. Oh, yeah. Me too. It's awesome. I'm so, you know, I even had a girlfriend call me yesterday and said, hey, Saturday, you want to go with me? I said, well, I may. Call me <laughs> Saturday if I feel like I'll go. So. I'm thinking I'll get to go somewhere with a friend. So I'm missing out on so much stuff I don't want to miss out on, you know? Right, yeah. Oh, and by the way, Ida, I got something in the mail from you yesterday. You did? Was it in I mean, We talked about it for a minute, but I didn't really expect it. A curse breaker. A what? A curse breaker. Yeah. Well, I but I, I did I did find out that Boomer's going to be having a party at his house in Grand Rapids sometime late yeah. in the summer, early in fall. So I'll get it to him then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was rather appropriate for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, we've been calling him the goat for, I don't know, six or seven years now. <laughs> the billy goat. Uh huh. Well, then that's appropriate for him. Don't you think? Oh, yeah. I, I think it's great. And I, I told you about the show that I went to where he threw out a bunch of 
beanie baby goats out into the audience. Yeah. yeah. Had cases and cases of them. And people love that kind of stuff. Eric Boyer, good morning. Hi, Eric. Good morning. It's already coming up. You just got to sit there and look pretty. She says she's tired. She has had a lot of driving lately, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. Three hours one way for her medical procedure. Was it yesterday or Monday? And that was terrible. Stan, good morning. How are you? Monday. Victoria, was it worth the three hour trip? Did they do anything to help you? Or you don't have any results back yet. It was just two days ago. Oh, you're awful brave, Bradley. Let me see here. <laughs> Adventures in button pushing coming up. Okay, now. Watch it, buddy. <laughs> and you have a gray in Brian Hooper. All right, so Brian, just Brian? hang in there a minute, and as soon as I get Bradley taken care of, I'll come over there and, and blue you. All right, let's see if I can get these up. Oh, oh, I recognize what that is. Surely will be so proud. Um, I'm always proud of you, Ida. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can get the let me see if I can get it going here. Um okay, hang on. Oh I gotta download it. Okay. Okay. Damn well, I'm I'm sorry to hear that, Victoria. Okay. I know that's a long ways to go for nothing. Uh -huh. Okay, so I got that. I got that. Ooh. Down like that. Okay, now let me see if I can show you guys. Show me, show me, show me. Well, y'all know what happens when I do all this stuff. All right, here's Streamer. I'm back at there and go present. Share screen, share screen. Um, windows and they are not there, so they're not there and they're not there, so I gotta do it different. <laughs> oh, gee, I know, I know, I know what happens, maybe. Great, Scott, that barber is really in pretty good shape, it really is. I'm pretty sure it's my best one. I got to click so on them. I, gonna... I, I might have two barbers, so I'd have to look at them to see which one is the best one, but neither one of them are anywhere close to that good. I actually sniped that one off of eBay. Okay. So the now nicest one there. Get back here and go back to wherever y'all are. Uh-oh. Where'd y'all go? Okay, here we go. I haven't left the living room. Share, share. Listen. Hang on. Oh, look at look at me do this. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Here we go. Look at look her go. Oh, two yeah. to one, you just two to one. You see that? No, nope, not yet. There it is. You can't nice. see. It? Nice. I like that. Okay, now right. wait, wait, like wait, wait, but wait, but wait for it, but wait for it, okay? <laughs> Hang on. Hold on. Hold on. Um, hang on. <laughs> Hang on, wait for it. Present, share, share. Well, the relief on that is amazing. Okay, but check this out. Oh, wow. 
<laughs> That's a wow, isn't it? <laughs> That's a beautiful green. Ooh. Yeah. Nice job, Bradley. Sterling likey. <laughs> Very good, Bradley. I mean, if I had that, I'd actually have to consider wearing jewelry. <laughs> all right, well, let me see if I can get rid of all the stuff I just downloaded without kicking me out. Uh-oh. Come on. Close the window. Okay, there we go. How do I get all this stuff on my screen? The bottom of my screen, I mean, there's so much stuff. All right. Now then, who is not blue? Brian Harper. Brian. I'm having it. Hang on a minute, Brian. We'll get you taken care of. Now you well, Bradley, you did a really nice job on that piece. I'm yep. duly impressed. Have you seen anything that he doesn't do a really nice job on? Oh, well, that very yeah. true. But <laughs> I, but I, I will make comment on each and every individual piece that I see. I hear you. I hear you. Wow. But Bradley, you should be playing Christmas in July. Somebody would love to get a gift from you. <laughs> yeah. Um, I thought, listen guys, by the way, before I forget, because I've been going to tell you all this, and I keep forgetting to tell you this, if anybody has anything that they believe that the children would like from the coin show, at the coin show in Tulsa, I'm putting together things, I'm putting together little wheat penny bags, I'm putting together uh, surprises for the kids. Uh, whether they're, you know, things like um, eye dollars. They don't know what an eye dollar looks like. Um, you know, silver, anything silver, um, eye dollar, whatever. A proof Kennedy's, um, Washington quarters, anything that kids don't see or haven't, you know what I'm saying? I'm putting together. Yeah. I'm putting together bags for them. So if you want to send anything like that to me, if you if you would label it uh, for the kids, the, the now it's not it's not St. Jude's. It's for the kids at the Tulsa Coin Show. And there's going to be a lot of kids there, and we want to make sure all the kids get something, and maybe even get them interested in. Um, you know, for the maybe, kids living on Tulsa time. That's right. Maybe get them interested in Newsmatic, and, and that's kind of what it's all about, is the kids. Spark that curiosity. I talked to Paul about Hudson. Yeah, I, I see them all the time at the coin show, and they do the same thing. Um I'm going to have a table at the Tulsa show that's just going to be for kids. Um, nice job, Raul. I was going to bring stuff, but I decided this I was going to make this for kids and for and also I have stuff up for St. Jude's, but you know to to make the kids smile. That's what it's about, you know. Yeah. And I don't know. I think we got to start with the kids if if we don't get the kids involved what's going to happen to the hobby you know yeah so anyway that's if, if you've got anything like that you know i dollars anything that you you don't um i so i put together little you know the little tubes like like oh, y'all can't see me these little tubes, I fill them mm -hmm. up with pennies and give them to kids. Um, I've got a bunch of, these are, you know, the copper rounds. I'll be putting them in, in some of them. 
And by the way, uh, anybody at the, um, oh, uh, what do you call that? Fundraiser for, for John Howe's family. I need to know who won my, uh, my, my donation. And somebody said it was Aunt Marching for Ants. Or Aunt Marching. It is. It is Aunt Marching. That's right. Because he also won a five ounce besides yours. Really? He won a 10 and a five. He had a great night. Awesome. Totally deserving. Yeah. Aunt Marching. And what a great person, too. Absolutely. But I need to know how to send this to him. I need his address. Yeah. So if y'all could, if you run into him or talk to him, have him, please have him contact me. Because that would just make me really happy to be able to mail this. <laughs> so there you go. Actually, I have his address. I can drop it in private chat. Perfect. That would be great. Yeah. And I may have it, but I just want to make sure that it goes to the right person when it's something like this. Yeah, he he just sent me this address like a week ago, so I know it's good. It's so fresh. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. And, and it is Ant Marching is what it's called. What he's called. Is there, yes. any, is that any, is there any numbers or anything? Nope, it's all one word, uh, A-N-T-M-A-R-C-H-I-N-G. Okay. All right. Get this out probably today. All right, thank you, sir. You're welcome. One down. <laughs> One at a time. One at a time. That's what you do. One step at a time. <sighs> Got to call my CPA today. Your taxes should have been done two days ago. Oh, I know. But I think he had to probably do an extension on mine. I just want to see where we're at on it. I had my refund back and spent by the 20th of February. It'd be nice if I got a refund, but I don't think that's going to happen. Don't think it's going to happen. I don't know. Could. <clears throat> oh. Okay, I'm glad you said that because I had that at the end of the street. Yeah, I was just looking at it and I thought that that might be confusing because it, it didn't put it in there like how I copied it. It had all three separate lines. Oh, okay. So glad, glad I said something. And they probably would have come back also. Right. Okay, got it now. Oh, Bradley, that would kill me. What would kill you? That he owes over 4K this year. Oh. Thank you, great Scott. You're welcome. Appreciate you very, very, very much. Absolutely. Right. My pleasure. Oily, hi, nice to see you again. Good morning, 710. Anna, I'm crazy. Good morning. Oh, Bradley, I hate to hear that. That's going to make me cry if I'm, hmm, I don't know what mine's going to be. You know, why don't they bother the little people? Why don't they go after the big people? <laughs> Oh, that's awesome, Papa York. 
got the 1891 O Morgan considering grading. Several people say it's at least a 65. Holy cow. That's pretty awesome. I thought about doing that with this piece dollar. Yeah, but the money you spend on grading, you could keep in your pocket and spend on more silver and you still have the coin. Very true. And that's that's what's hard for me is like I know that I'm never letting this go. So I don't need anybody to tell me what they think it is as far as a number. I'm always going to just appreciate it. You know, it's I'll never get going anywhere. You're getting lost too. You know. Okay, look at this. This is the kind of stuff that I want to give the kids at the Tulsa show. Oh, that's perfect. And the kids will love it. They will love it. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, they will love that. That's kind of what I'm um, looking for, if anybody has. They probably have more fun with whoopee cushions, though. Yeah, well, we're not doing for fun. Now, look at this little beauty. This is mine. Nice. Isn't that pretty? 63 Benji. Beautiful. Boy. I love that. But anyway, that kind of stuff is the thing. And I'm going to take some of these stickers that um, St. Jude gave us and put them on the table along with the flyer that I've made up for St. Jude's for the coin show. So, awesome. you know, I'm, and I'm hoping... Be careful if you get stickers sent to you from Angel. She sent me perverted stickers. Yeah, well, no, not the coin show. That, that's she not the coin show. That, that, that's what I'm telling you. If, if you get stickers from Angel, make sure you look at them before you give them to the kid. Very carefully. <laughs> that is so funny. Her and Paula, I tell you. Get them both together. Mm -mm -mm. Good morning, Muscle Show. Yep. Uh, Papa, if getting that coin graded helps you get a bunch of money for it, then go for it. Yeah, and if it's something super rare like that, then yeah, that's almost like, and uh, again, kind of why I'm considering grading this, because if it's a rare coin, you kind of want to take responsibility for protecting it for whoever mm -hmm. it may go to next. I wonder what you think, what you all think. Use the good one, Papa. Yeah. If you're good, I mean. For the really the, good coin. I don't know what the name of the thing is, but the one that. PCGS. rating. Yeah, PCGS is the best for that. Oh, there's that other one that they say is the best. The GAC? CAC. CAC. Uh -huh. yeah. CAC, I think, is another. I mean, it's coming. It's got a whole new standard, I think. I wish Paul was here. She'd tell us. Yeah, they, they have been pretty strict on the grading, but I also hear that they're kind of getting overwhelmed, so there might be a little bit more of a delay with them. Yeah, not... but true. Delay's okay, though. We don't care. Yeah. And because but... it's so new, you could be adding to the value just in getting one of their earlier, you know, cases. Like how PCGS, you know, old style Rattler cases and stuff like that are, you know, bring a premium. Well, because you're getting in early on the CAC, mm -hmm. they could have a premium and, you know, in the future. Well, if you guys think about it, um, I would certainly like to have something to send to the kids. Well, Angel, Jack might be snobs, but snobs tend to have more money to spend. Hi, Angel. Angel, come on, tell me what's going on. Where's Paul? Chief, are you talking about 
any grading or are you talking about my piece dollar specifically? He's saying annex will do it for $14, which is a, a great point. You know, there's, there's some things that doesn't really matter who grades it. People are going to be looking at it and kind of making their own determination. Some things just need to be verified, you know. Yeah, yeah. that's why I send in, sometimes I send my gold in because I want it slab. You know, I'm not doing anything with it, but for me. Right. Sound. So but if you got a coin that's really, really good, couldn't you just put it into a quality auction? I mean, a real quality auction without having it graded, and people would just study it. If, and you're, talking about, if you're talking about um, like Heritage or, or Saxon Bauer, they don't take coins in unless they're graded. Really? Right. Yeah. Required. Yep. They want it verified. They don't want the bad publicity if someone should get a fake. And I think I'm right on that. I'm not positive, but I think uh, that, that, that doesn't surprise me. It really doesn't. I mean, I, I understand what you're saying. Like, it would, there's no better scrutiny than a whole bunch of people that love that coin and looking at it, you know. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. So, let's see. anybody come in? I miss Eric. Good morning. Wow, that's nice, Brian. What's the shell? I know. Where the heck Paula is? Let me see if I can write what her up. Um, well, let me see if she's awake, I should say. Okay, what are you? All right, I sent her a message, so she responds. Kind of know why she might not. She may be sick. Eric, I'm just sitting here reading chat. <laughs> but anyway, guys, just if you send me something for the kids, please just label it for the kids coin show or something like that. But. Tell the kids. You know, anything, anything that you think kids could, would like, um, I don't know, that coin relay would be awesome. Oh, shoot. I was going to send you a game mm -hmm. of charts. <laughs> we yes, were just talking about else? Paula, Angel. We're, we're thinking about Paula, and I yeah, was going to give her a call here in a little while. Check up on her. Give her time to wake up, then I'll call her. But anyway, the the kids at the coin show, you know, if, if we can get them interested, that's what our future is, those kids. So anyway. Got a nine on what I am, that's great. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you, Victoria. I will probably do another live for that. I think maybe tonight after it gets dark. Ooh, I'm not I think I might. Just because okay. right now I am at 398 videos. I'll do my short 
that will take me up to 399 and then I could do a live stream to take me to 400 videos and right. talk about Christmas in July. John Shank, good morning. Okay, uh, Sterling, when is the baby shower? Probably too soon for you to get it to me. Tell me when it is. Two weeks. May what? Um, April 28th, I think, that Sunday. April. The last Sunday in the month. Okay. Something else going on April 28th. I don't know what it is. Um, maybe not because, like I say, I've got it all there. I've just got to put it together. Well, it, it, it doesn't, I mean, if it's not there for the baby shower, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but I sure would like to have it there for the baby shower. It, it, would, be, it would be nice, but that's not, it's more important that it's there before she arrives. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm feeling better, so I'm feeling like working on it. So, you know, that's, that's what I want to do. Well, I, I will send you their address. Oh, you're not going to deliver it? No, I'm not going to be able to go. Oh. Well, don't send it to me until I tell you it's done, okay? All right. Forty-six likes and forty-nine watching. Well, that's pretty close. But you three slackers, come on! <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> come on, come on! I forgot to turn on the ads again, didn't I? Oh well, I'm not very good at that stuff. Well, we picked up one more with that. Well, that's good. That's a good thing. So, so what's next? What we have Christmas in July. Well, and then, well, um, and then you've got convalescing through well, that's a good part of the summer. Yeah, but we've got June. We've got the June, the Tulsa show in June. And then I'll have my surgery, and then we'll do the Christmas in July. Um, and y'all have to remember, um, I need lots of presents while I'm, I'm recuperating for the St. Jude so I can open them and go, oh, the kids are going to love this, or oh, this is going to bring a lot of money, that type thing, okay? And Angel, I should probably have a talk with you pretty soon. I've got an idea for covering Ida during her convalescing. Um, but you and other people that said that we might pick up the slack, we, we should probably have a little talk here soon. I got an idea that you might like. Well, we got to, you know, I'm hoping I'm not going to be down that long. Well, Ida, you're going to take whatever time you need to heal. And well, we will cover the morning show. I will miss if, you. If it takes a month, if it takes two months, we'll cover you. Oh, for crying out loud, I'm only talking days, not months. I well, mean, I'll, I'll be what, 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 whatever it takes, we're going to cover you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. But I'm hoping for... what? What is Secret Santa? Well, it's a game where you get to buy a gift for somebody in the community, probably that you don't know so well, but it'll give you an opportunity to get to know them better. Um, but if you send me your screen name, your mailing address, and your email, Come the last week of May, I will take all of the names. So far, I've got 15 names, but I will take all of the names that I have at that time. 
and randomize them and give each person will have somebody that they will give a gift to and they will have a person that they get a gift from this is what i do you will have the month of june to learn something about that person get them a gift and send that gift to them so that they have it for the beginning of july all right yeah. if you want to, if you want to do it my email address is running across there send me the email address email with the required information you will get an email back from me saying that you are in and there you go john shank are you listening it says he says i just said sign me up <laughs> You get you're not. It's not Ida that's signing you up. It will be Sterling. It, it, you got to send me the email. That's right. Anyway, when when I did it, I put all the little notes in here and I pull them out, and that's how you got matched. Victoria, I don't really need real names. I mean, yes, there are a lot of people that use their real name as their screen name, but what I need is a screen name. John Shank, it's Sterling Cannabis who's doing it. That's right. And all I'm doing is facilitating it. That's um, because he did I'm going to get you a name and an address and somebody that you need to take care of. Come the middle of July, if I'm getting emails from people saying, I never got my gift, I will know who was supposed to send them a gift, and we will publicly shame anybody who does not take care of their art. Y'all better watch out. He's tough, I'm telling you. Oh, Angel, I expect pervy stuff from you, darling. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm disappointed if there wasn't. Listen, don't get carried away just because I'm not doing it this year, okay? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I am not the soft touch that Miss Ida is. <laughs> I, will, I will not cover up your faux pas. Uh, well, anyway, <laughs> anyway, and, and don't send me your phone number and say, uh, call me on the phone. That's easier. No, that doesn't work. I need the email. You know, Sterling, I could thank you. A um, okay. I'll say this. Don't rip your person off. But don't go extreme and make everybody else look bad. Um, approximately an ounce of silver range, but it doesn't have to be silver. Or coin related. Or coin related. I've got a cutout on my wall behind me that I got as my gift of a few of these exchanges ago. It's a cutout of, of my dog's face. It's beautiful. I love it. The person who sent it to me took a minute to find out something about me and went to the things that I love. Right. Well, you're lovable, though, see? Some people aren't lovable, like me. See? <laughs> Some people are more see? And their muscle shells backing me up. If somebody stiffs their victim, muscle shell will do a video on you, too. Hmm. Yes, that's correct, Katita. You'll be notified of who it is that you'll be sending to. You'll get their address. And, and you'll uh, have and a month to take care of it. Yep, you'll have some time to, to research them. Maybe ask one of their friends. If you have an idea of your own, you can just package it up and get it sent off. Or go to their shit there. If they have a video... A, a channel you can find out some stuff on their channels exactly i got you greta i'll go through your email in a, in a bit
Steve okay. See, that, that, that's funny. Easy. I could send everybody my address. Right. <laughs> I mean, that's really going to be the hardest part of it for me. I've got, I've got a randomization program that I will use, but yeah. I will know who my secret Santa is before they know who right. they are. So keeping the secret, not saying anything. Um, that's when you just don't you don't put you don't find out until you're the last one. See, that's how you Yeah, yeah. I, I will well uh, then I'll <laughs> then I'll be relegated to the last person to be the, the giver. But I mean that's fine, you know. But I mean the real actually what I do is I put it, you know, I'll have a an alpha list and a beta list. The alphas are the givers and the betas are the receivers. Every name will be on both lists. And then I run, and it pops it all out at once. Nice. <laughs> you know it's true. <laughs> yes, he will. Muscle Shell. Muscle Shell is known for calling out thieves and liars, and I support him in that one hundred percent. Oh. Super nice order, super nice gift. Every, every gift that I've gotten has been good. Uh, I am limiting it to people in the United States so that nobody has to deal with international shipping and all of the other issues that go along with that. And with that, one of my secret Santas a few years ago was from Australia. Sent me a really nice gift. Appreciate it very much. Australian coinage. But it took a month to get here. Yeah. And I, I talked with Ida a few times. You know, she talked with the person. They said they sent it. So I knew it was on the way. But it's just, you know, I want things to run a little smoother. So I, I hate to cancel out all of my Canadian and European and Asian friends, but the mail to those places just doesn't work as well. Well, it happens. But anyway, I hate to leave anybody out. It, it it really hurts my feelings to do that. I don't want to leave anybody out either, but the logistics of it are just bad. I know. I know. I know. But still, you know, don't want to leave anybody out. It's tough. Well, what I will do is I will invite all of our foreign friends to fill out the forms and they can migrate to the United States if they do it legally. Don't come through the southern border without a visa. <laughs> yeah, because my yeah. government will get you. Um, you know what I could have done if I had thought about it? I could have made you a form for people to fill out and, and click on it like I did for the registration for St. Jude's. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about it. Then you'd have had all that information at your little fingertips. It's amazing, though, you know, even with that registration and, and going through the clicky, the linky thing, you cannot imagine the amount of people that did not follow instructions. And the registration form was so simple, and you guys all know that. 
but they didn't put in their street address or they didn't put in their city or they didn't put in their real name or they didn't put in their email. <laughs> and it was like, I have to go oh, chase I, You already have my address. You don't need it again. I got that many times. I didn't want to read it. The thing is, is you know, I, I probably have the addresses of most of the people that sent me their addresses for Secret Santa. I do. But I'd have to go through my stuff and find them. Right. And it's this, an email. It's this just, is the other thing, uh, Sterling, when you they'll put their name on there, like, uh, for example, Sterling, and then in the address place, they'll say on file. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. No, that's not <laughs> what is required here. I know, but they don't let, they don't, you know, they don't want to go to any trouble and like, it's no big deal for me to go to the trouble, you know? And when you're talking about as many people as we have, holy Toledo. But wasn't it fun? Didn't we do a great job? You guys are so amazing. Muscle Shell, I, I agree with you and she does do some exchanges between Australia and herself fairly regularly. And I'm about to, I'm about to lose my cheap address to Japan. Yeah, but won't that be great? You're the least bit concerned about that, are you? Not in all, not at all. <laughs> in fact, I might even dance a jig for it. Absolutely. Absolutely. I just think that is so awesome. Poppy York, you too. Why does everybody call him a victim? I don't get this. That's a sterling thing. Yeah, that's just me. All right. I, people that I do nice things for are my victims. I see. Okay. Yeah, I'm scared to watch that. Gold Snipe and Farmer is going to post a video of two electric cars getting in a wreck. I imagine it's not going to be good. Does it result in lightning? Probably. You know, the, the, how do you feel about the electric cars? If you were going to go out and buy a car, would you buy the high I could see having one for certain things, but it would never be my only vehicle. I know a, a little a little ragtop electric car to drive around the lake in the summertime would be kind of nice. You could do that with a golf cart. What, exactly. Well, that's probably yeah, that's probably. <laughs> It would wind up being, in my budget, it would wind up being a golf cart. But, you know, I'm planning on buying another car within the next, you know, I'm going to say year, because I don't know when, but, and I'm not even, th and not even considering an electric car. I mean, y'all think I'm crazy? There, there's a guy that comes up here lives down in the Detroit metro area. Uh -huh. He bought one of those Ford electric trucks. Uh -huh. It's a nice looking truck. It's a little different. It's not like your conventional, but it's a, not a bad looking truck. Uh -huh. The range on that thing, what the factory numbers say, is you get about 450 miles out of a full charge. Mm -hmm. He said he's never gotten that. And he said if he loads it up with his family and his kids and fills up the back of the truck with stuff to bring up here for a week, it drops his range to under 300 miles. Wow. Could you imagine if you were pulling a trailer with it? Well, yeah. Hmm. So, I guess the answer to that would be... They're pretty much useless. 
Yeah. Well, but you know, Seeker's got one and he loves it. He's got a Tesla that, you know, he absolutely adores his. But it's a, it's a sports car. It's him and one other person. And he probably doesn't drive cross country with it. Actually, he does. And I don't think it's just a two seater if that's what you're getting at. I think that's what most Teslas are. They might make some with a back seat. Because, I mean, I'm saying this because he takes it to coin shows. He's not going to, he's got to have some room in it. Okay, Seeker, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> for muscle shell for somebody that lives in a very urban area it can work absolutely for me where well, you know the closest grocery store is 20 miles away let me see if he i'm gonna see if he whoops uh oh my mouth's playing. No, i'm gonna see if seekers online see if he'll come up But the thing is, is Elon Musk builds a Musk. He does not build Teslas. Because if a vehicle was actually a Tesla, it would not need to be plugged in. I guess I'm not friends with Silver, with Seeker. <laughs> oh, imagine that. I guess I'm not friends on Facebook with him. Anybody friends with him on Facebook that you can send him a message and tell him to come up? Angel bet you are. I don't even couldn't even find his name. Come on, I couldn't. Even, well, maybe it's under his real name. Um, Angel. Yeah, I've got a neighbor that's got one of those penis hybrids. I, I think I could beat it on a skateboard. Do, 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 do. Angel, what did you do? What didn't you do? Ida was saying that you're friends with Seeker. She wants you to text him and tell him to come up. Are you, are you, can you text him? Because I, I don't have it. For some reason, I'm not friends with him. I don't know why. Maybe he doesn't. Wendy, good morning. I don't know. Can you, can you text him and tell me we want to talk about more for a minute? <laughs> you didn't do anything, darling. <clears throat> Wendy, how's Buddy this morning? She got a big, beautiful dog, too. I certainly know you do. A guy in the gold. I haven't seen that, Gatita. I'll have to check out that channel. A guy and a golden. Wonder if it's YouTube. Here comes the politics. What do you mean by that? What politics? Are we talking politics? Did I missed it. It's all politics. <laughs> why? Do, why do they put? Why do they put? Photographs or likenesses of I know. political leaders on our coins. Hey, you know, the, this hadn't didn't have anything to do with that, but you know, it's kind of scary even to go shopping in malls anymore. And all the malls around here seem to be closing. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, you know, I haven't been in a mall. I know six or seven years. Does anybody go mall shopping and they feel safe doing it? Because I'm like, whoa. Hey, 
Eric, that's about true. I, there's a guy that lives a block away from me that a few years ago, he literally did trip over his golden in the dark. Looky here. Hey, Seeger. Hey, I got a text saying that you need to be on the show for some reason, but he didn't know why. I know, and I need you to text me so I can be friends with you, so I can send you these nasty messages. Sure. Okay, hey, you know up? what? We want to know about your car because oh. we're, ta we're talking about um, electric cars, and they're saying um, all kinds of stuff, and I want you to tell us what's going on. Well, uh, what do you need to know? Well, is yours just a little two-seater, first of all? Uh, no. no, it has. It can seat five. See, okay. So you're wrong, Sterling. Okay, and and what do you do? Well, you all the ones I've ever seen are two seaters. No, I, most EVs. I mean, shoot, there's SUVs, there's trucks. I mean, you can. There's a seven seater Model Y. The Model X can seat seven. Um, I mean, they're generally pretty big. I think you do have a gray Silver Mountain. Okay, well, we'll fix that. But um, what about what? I know it's not gas mileage. I don't know what you call it. What do you call that? Range. Uh, they call it EMPG, which is like the gasoline equivalent miles per gallon per uh, per gallon of gas. But okay. it's that number is like real weird because it just depends on where you're charging the car. Like you know, in Missouri, electric rates are so silly cheap here that I get, like, for what it would cost me to fill one gallon of gas in a gas car here in Missouri, I can get 280 miles of range in my car. Holy Toledo. But there's other places where it's more expensive. So, like, Missouri has generally very cheap electric rates. But, you know, out in California, you know, they pay four times as much, you know, for their electricity as I do here. So out there, it's, you know, you know they'd only get 70. It's still better than, you know, gas, but it's nowhere near as good as here. So it depends on, it depends on where they're charging it. And do you find any, do you have, have you had any trouble finding places? Oh, no, I charge at home. But I mean, on trips, no, the car tells you where to stop. It, like, I just tell the car where I want to go, and it tells me where I need to stop and for how long. And there's there's no planning needed. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. No oil changes. No, no oil changes. I have my car has 50,000 miles on it. I just, I, that number is significant because the, they come with two warranties. There's a battery and a, and a powertrain warranty, which is 120,000 miles. And then there's your standard warranty, which covers the other knickknacks, you know, you, you know, this other stupid stuff that isn't related to the powertrain or the battery that's only 50,000. So I literally just crossed that this week. So it's, you know, I know that's where it is. <laughs> wow. And you still love it as much as you did when you got uh, it. Best, I've, I've, I've had some really nice cars in my life. This is, Far and away, the best car I've ever owned. It's it's not even close. I don't and like it. Does Miss Seeker like it? Yeah, she loves it. Yeah. I don't like it. Yeah, well, it's because I gave you whiplash. Sorry about that. No, I don't like it because it's not mine. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> and, and there, but there's, listen, like, you know, I, I love that car, but it's not for everybody. Like, if you live in an apartment, you can't charge at home. I actually would not recommend you buy an electric car. Because the, the best part about it is that, you know, I don't I don't have to stop at the gas station. I wake up every morning to, you know, quote, unquote, a full tank. I don't have to think about it. I park at night. I plug it in every morning I wake up. It's, you know, it went to the gas station on its own overnight and filled itself right back up. That's very um, good, huh? Stupid. Yeah. Uh, Lex is asking, make and model. Oh, uh, Tesla Model 3 Long Range. I was looking at a Mustang. <laughs> and, I, and I did, and I did, I did, uh, I did buy the acceleration boost for it, which was a very poor financial decision. But I don't know, I, I wanted to. <laughs> so, so, Seeker, do you find that your electricity at the house has gone up? I mean, tremendously. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, but it's you know, my electric bill, like even in the summer, is you know, like two twenty. Oh, good lord! Yeah, oh, yeah. and in the winter, it's like eighty per month. It's, yeah. it's nothing. Yeah, mine's a lot more than that. Well, again, Missouri has incredibly cheap electricity rates. Like I, I acknowledge that my situation is not the same as everyone else's. You know, I, I'm not, I'm not stupid. <laughs> I just, I'm really, you know, that I don't know why it's so cheap here, but it's cheap, and I take advantage of it. Well, yeah, I guess I would too. Holy Toledo! Wow. 
but but for some reason everyone when you say the word tesla they think that it's a little bitty car mm, no I, no they're in your car it's not little no I mean, it's not it's not massive or anything. The Model S is a lot bigger than mine. Mine's a you know a smaller, sportier car, but it can still seat five. Yeah. Uh, there's yeah. two front seats and three seats in the well. There's you know it's like any other bench. You have two seats on either side, and then you have that center seat that no one likes to sit in, but it's there if you need it. The hump yeah. seat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's not a hump seat, then, is it? Well, it's not a hump, but it's you know it's that center seat that nobody likes. Well, because a lot of times they got the hump seat in the center because you got the drive shaft going down and they come up. Oh no, it. yeah, there's no drive shaft, obviously. So yeah, it's not the same. Yeah. And, so and cool. are they are the batteries massive? Are they like really huge? Yeah, they sit right under. They sit right under you. You know, it's okay. funny people. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of like. There's a lot of hate out there for Teslas, and and many people think it's. And and guys, I don't get political on my channel. You know that, but I'm I'm not left wing at all, and we'll it's leave it at that. I'm not going to get any farther into it. Ida knows. Um, I have four friends, and this is I guess I'll just go a little bit deeper. I have four friends that own Teslas. Every single one of them leans right. One of them is a judge that has an R next to his name on the ballot when he when he has to go up for election. So it's it's not a left or a right thing. And if the, yeah, so Papa York says, and if the battery catches a fire, get out of the way. Yes, yeah, so EVs are actually much less likely to catch fire than ICE cars, regardless of what you read. However, he's right. If they do catch fire, get far away because lithium fires are uh, very hard to put out. They burn incredibly hot. So it is not anything, and they put off a lot of, you know, fumes you don't want to be breathing in. So 100%, if, if, you know, they in the rare instance that you do have one that catches on fire, get way away from it. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is probably a little stupid question, Seeker, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Sure. Can you overcharge it or anything? No, the there's uh, it's it's like your cell phone. The, there's a battery management system. Actually, yeah. like my car, I have so my car only charges, and this is on purpose. It's not like something's wrong with it. Uh, I set my car to only charge to 80%. The reason for that is that any lithium battery, uh, when you charge it all the way to 100%, it puts extra strain on the battery that's unnecessary. So like if I'm taking a long trip, like when I go out to Tulsa in June, I will charge it to 100% before I leave my house. But for everyday driving, there's no need to put that extra strain on the battery. So you just don't do it. Because like 80% is way more than I use. You know, I or even that even the other day when i did that video where i was driving all around the way all the way around st louis and i was going to all the coin shops i mm -hmm. used like 23 percent of the battery for that entire trip i mean it's it's you know it's nothing so there's no need to charge it all the way up unless you're going on a long trip wow that's awesome yeah and, and you you can't you wouldn't have a problem between new york and and uh california mm -hmm. for finding stations to uh no, no even, even if you did, you could, I mean, what do you do if you can't find a place? Well, I mean, I've never, I've taken a lot of long trips. I've never experienced that. I mean, if you can't find a place, that would really suck. But the car is going to tell you. So, like, let's say I tell the car that I want to go to Minot, North Dakota. It's going to tell me where I need to stop and if and when and what I'm going to arrive at. And it's really accurate. Like, it's usually within a percent or two of what it says. Like if it says I'm going to arrive at so-and-so charger with 21%, it's usually spot on. Like it's really close. Um, so what kind so, of maintenance do you have? I mean, and, and, and would, would you call a tow truck if you had a problem? I mean, I, I mean, I, yeah, you could call a tow truck if, if something did happen and they could tow you to a charger, but that's really embarrassing because all the people that hate EVs, they love to see stuff like that. They're like, aha, look at the electric car being towed by a gas tow truck. But <laughs> I, I, I've never had that issue. Like I, so when I first got it, I bought my car in 2022. Uh, I got it May 15th of 2022. The beginning of June, my wife and I drove it all the way to Siesta Key, Florida. From St. Louis, that is an 1,100-mile one-way trip. We only had to stop four times. The longest stop was 25 minutes. The shortest stop was 15. That's it. It's like I would stop that much on that long of a drive, even if I were driving a gas car, because no one wants to sit in a car for that long nonstop. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right. And and besides that, but how you got out and you got gas and you that's been fifteen, twenty minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean you, you it, it's it's it. it's really a non issue. It really is. Like a lot of the issues that people have against EVs, you know, for range and all that are really things that aren't a big deal to most people. 
the biggest deal to most people for EVs is what I had said earlier, is that if you can't charge it at home, it's really honestly not the best thing to do. I wouldn't, I'm not saying it's not possible, but it's not something I would recommend to anyone who cannot charge at home. I would never recommend it to anyone who can't. And how do you feel about the ones that are hybrids? Hybrids are great. Uh, you know, I, I don't have an issue with hybrids. Uh, the new Prius, actually, I really like the new Prius. I've actually driven one. I don't own one, but I drove one, and I thought they were really cool. And then the plug-in hybrids, the only issue I have with the plug-in hybrids is as far as cars that have a chance of catching fire, plug-in hybrids are number one on that list because you're taking all the possible faults from an electric car and all the possible faults from a gas car, and you're just smashing them into one car. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so. have, have you noticed a loss in range in cold weather uh, about 10 to 15 percent um, i drove to oklahoma during that cold snap when it was minus 20 and there was that you know that uh big mess about you know chicago and the freezing chargers and i didn't have an issue like that that was that did happen like i'm not saying that didn't happen but that was an isolated event that everyone figured was the norm and that's not the norm but yes there is a loss in range in the cold weather and that's because batteries are liquid uh if, you know it's there's liquid in the battery. So when they get cold, the liquid doesn't move as fast. And so it makes it harder to hold the charge and uh, it makes it less efficient. Uh, someone had posted your, the government can turn off your car. F that I, any modern car has electronics and it can, that can be disabled. I mean, that's, you can't, you can't point that to just EVs. I mean, shoot, I've been in my, uh, you know, I was when I went to Oklahoma, Mike has that, you know, that truck that's like it's a gas car, but it's full of electronics that can be shut off remotely like any other car. Sorry. Interesting. Well, you know, take right now if there was anybody that could explain that, that would be you. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. I'm happy to answer questions. I. I love it. I don't think I don't think it's for everybody. I'm a hundred percent against mandates. I think people should be allowed to choose what they want to drive. If you want to keep driving an ICE vehicle, that's your call, and you should be allowed to do that. Um, so the whole mandate thing, which I think is why a lot of people hate EVs, um, most EV owners don't care. Uh, don't want that to happen. That? Most EV owners want people to have a choice, just like I do. So. Oh, absolutely. What are you referring absolutely. to? Mandate thing. Uh, you know the government talking about like making yeah i think in california in 2035 by what 35 no gas vehicles can be sold yeah i think california 2035 that's what they said or something like that but it doesn't mean you can't drive one that just means no it just means it, but it means manufacturers can't produce new ones and at that point eventually they will all and the go. gas stations will go away at that point yeah yeah and, and i think i think that's nonsense that should not happen i mean yes. that's you know, Angel just made a statement. Own Star vehicles should be shut down. What does that mean, Angel? Anybody have a thought on what, that? What what was said? I didn't hear it. Uh, uh, she's Angel saying that they could. Own Star vehicles should be shut down. Oh, On Star? Yeah, well, On Star has the power to shut off your car. That way, if uh, if um, your car gets stolen, you can call On Star and say it's been stolen. They can shut it down remotely. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought she was saying it wasn't all good. monthly fee. I love my own star. Well, my my won't even my my own star will not do a lot of things for me now because it's my car so old. Yeah. No, I was saying. Why do you have another gray North Shore? Be shut off, man, like remotely. Yeah. So even unlocked remotely. So gold sniping farmer says green energy will never catch on. It may not. I didn't buy it for green energy. I said actually said that in my video Friday where I the first time in a public video i actually showed the car um because i was driving around to shops it just made sense for the video um yeah it may not it very well may not i did not buy it for that reason at all i missed and then, that video and then emr says i don't believe the electric grid can handle the load if everyone if every if every gas car was an ev today i agree i agree absolutely there there absolutely is work that needs to be done um but fortunately i don't you know i i think even a california mandate probably will not end up being a thing i just there's there's too much pushback and i agree with the pushback i really do i i love them but i agree with the pushback 100 percent. all the mandates they can go to it hell with sounds them. like but I, I do believe grow. at some point they will actually build a tesla a car that pulls its energy out of the ether it sounds like people should get uh solar panels installed when they buy a tesla so they can 
not pull as much off the grid. Right. I I just don't think that they I just do not believe that right now that the electric cars and things is saving as much energy any any more energy or anything because of the it costs so much, you know. I mean, it costs so much for electricity. The the solar panels. The, Where, where's the electricity yeah. coming from that charges them? Uh, depends on where you uh, live. Yeah. Uh, it, it, uh, in Missouri, I think like 47, 48% of our energy comes from like coal and shit like that. Um, 10, I, I had looked it up a while back. Like less than 50% of the energy in, in Missouri is renewable, but some of it is, but it's less than 50%. People we actually have solar panels on them that also have crypto miners built into them. Hmm. That's, I mean, it's definitely not the case with so Tesla. I've heard that before, but I'm pretty sure it's all conspiracy. Yeah, we should all get together and invent a car that you just put in change, put in a silver wound. <laughs> I think the issue with with uh, you know the the theory that there's crypto miners being built in the cars, it would be caught so quickly because those use no, so I'm, much I'm energy. I'm saying that you can buy you can buy a car that has it it's not a hidden oh. thing it's you buy it for that reason it's built into it on purpose. Gotcha. i totally misunderstood yeah, what well, you said my apologies oh no i'll get i know there's a lot of conspiracy theories out there but yeah, yeah. either i think uh, doc brown invented that with the his time machine a little throw trash in there and <laughs> yeah it is. silver mountain i have uh seen some of those videos as too and Toyota is making some big moves with hydrogen-powered vehicles. Yeah, the problem is hydrogen vehicles had a uh, a like seventy percent drop in purchases last year, and they just closed a bunch of stations in California. There's a lot of issues with hydrogen vehicles that, and I'm not I'm not against hydrogen, but there's a lot of issues that need to be overcome. Particularly, you're driving around with a bomb. Um, I mean, the, the amount of pressure pressure put into a hydrogen tank is massive. And then it takes a lot of energy to compress the hydrogen to be able to be loaded in the cars at all. So you're actually like it's it, it, there's there's a lot of issues. It's it's costing a lot of energy to push a hydrogen car, unfortunately, right now. Maybe that's something they can overcome in years, but it is nowhere close to being where it needs to be. Yeah, this Sadly. Toyota is devoted towards hydrogen they they've stayed and, and i hope that, and i hope they succeed and i really do yeah. um most hydrogen cars by the way are just evs with extra steps though <laughs> I mean, right right <laughs> well, the my biggest problem with evs honest because an electric motor to move your vehicle is very intelligent but it's the batteries are the problem yeah and what they need to do is by, similar to fuel cells is figure out a way to produce the electricity to run those motors for each wheel without using batteries. Well, that's probably not going to happen. However, um, batteries will happen. Being able to run it without having, I mean, you have to be able to store the energy. The car's never going to be able to produce enough energy to run itself without having energy already in the car. So you're going to need right. a way to store energy from an outside source. I mean, but a 12 volt battery will do it, you know, just like we had, you know, use, use now. But where, yeah, but where are you going to get the energy to move the car? It, it, it That's what I'm saying time. is yeah. those technologies need to be developed. And is it in the Tesla stuff that is hidden from us where he was pulling energy out of the ether? Is it in fuel cells? There are, there are many directions we can go. But that is where we eventually will be. I perhaps I just I there's no such thing as free energy, right? There's so uh, I don't agree with that. I believe that there absolutely is free energy. Okay, well, I mean, well, we can agree to disagree on that. That's fine. But you have to pay something to tap into it, though. Even if it's out there, you've got to build the system to be able to draw it. Like, yes, you can pull energy or electricity out of the air, but you actually have to have the the things that do it so so yeah nothing is free and i, I agree with you silver seeker it's we're always going to have to be able to store it on there but 
with technology, we are going to be able to store more, store it safer. Like there's batteries where you could actually drink the fluid that's in them. You know, it's a lot more safe. It's more green. Well, the, and I the agree. density of the storage is only going to get better and better <laughs> as technology moves along. We'll get right. better batteries. They'll be lighter. You see that item? Less expensive. So mm -hmm. You're you're 100 right. I think I think the next step is going to be there's um, there's a technology called solid state batteries, which are probably only four to five years from actually being in cars today. Um, which I think at that point that's where EV adoption is really going to take off. And the reason I say that is because half the weight double the energy capacity, and they won't have any issues with cold because they're solid. So I read a, once I read an those article the other day. Um, that they're finding lithium in pyrite, fool's gold. Do you know oh, anything yeah. about that? I'd never heard of that. I'd yeah, I just read it. Just I think it was yesterday. I believe you. I just oh, I never heard it, so I can't comment on they're it. They're finding a new place where they can find it, and it's in pyrite. Well, they're going to move away from lithium eventually, I believe. Uh, so when solid state batteries are a thing, we're talking uh, a battery the size that's in my car right now. You know, my car has a max range of three hundred and fifty miles. That same size battery at a solid state would be over eight hundred. So. At that point, and and it would be able to charge faster. You'd be able to charge eighty percent of the battery in fifteen minutes. So eighty percent of an eight hundred mile range battery, you know, that's six hundred and forty miles that you can charge in fifteen minutes. That's massive. At that point, uh, you know, I think I think adoption will really take off. So, seeker Victoria wanted to know about how the air conditioning heating affected it or did it. It does a little, but not ma it's not massive. The, the thing that takes the most energy that isn't moving the vehicle actually is the battery management system. So in really, really hot days, uh, it works to keep the battery cool. And on really cold days, it warms up the battery. That actually uses a lot more energy than heating the cabin. Wow. Heating the cabin is very little energy. And it, and it does a great job, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, the, it's, you know, it's a heat pump. So and, yeah. and your typical ice car, you know, take, you have to warm up the car for four or five minutes before it gets hot. It, you know, I could go out in my car in an ice cold day and in 30 seconds it's blowing hot air. Yeah. That's just wrong. That is wrong because he's freezing. It takes me 10 minutes to get hot air in the winter. <laughs> out of my car. Uh, Gold well, yeah. Farmer says we live in an electric universe. Electricity is in the air. I know, yeah. right, man? I'm always getting static electric shock. <laughs> uh, that is wrong about your car getting hot that quick. I'm just saying. You know, my dad always said if you turned on the AC um, and and hit it, put it up as high as the heat will go. You know, you have to turn it to red, that it will heat up a lot quicker. Oh yeah. And I don't know how that. I I never did believe that, but. I I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have no idea. I definitely had neighbors when I was a kid that believed that if you left your car in idle and rev the engine as fast as it would go, it would heat it up faster. Well, that's actually probably true because it probably is, yeah. but I just, I just remember it being annoying. Oh yeah, for sure. But you, you, your typical ice car, I mean, most of the heat just comes from the heat produced by the engine. So yeah, if you're revving the engine up, it's going to heat up quicker. So that actually makes sense. Yeah, that does make sense. So what my dad said never made sense to me and still doesn't. But, yeah. I got a customer, guys. I got to go. Yeah, it, gotta it is after 10 o'clock. Have a blessed day. Thank you for coming up and explaining all this to us. You're, you're welcome. And, and you know, if I don't know something, I'm, you know, like I said, there's a couple things that people brought up that I, I just don't know. I'm not going to pretend I know something I don't know. I did. I do. I did do a lot of research uh, before I bought it and uh, before <laughs> I made the decision. There's, you know, there's a thousand conspiracy theories out there. Most of them aren't true. So. That's true. That's true. Well, pretend that you know me and send me a friend's request on Facebook, will you? Oh, I do not do that, but I will send you a text so you can text me. How's that? Oh, okay. Perfect. I have my, my Facebook has eight friends, two of which no longer on earth. So I, I don't, okay. I'm not, a, I'm not a big fan of Facebook. However, I will send you, I will get your, I will send you a text message so you can text me. How's that? Okay. Perfect. All right. Perfect. All right. All right, guys, we got to get out of here. Thank you, Seeker, again. Appreciate You're welcome. It. Great, Scott. Thank you for all of your stuff you did today. That is so awesome. And My Sterling, pleasure. don't forget, thank you for Christmas in July. We appreciate it. So, everybody have a great Bye. day. Love you all. Bye. Bye.
um guys and chad thanks for coming in um of course as always love having you in here fun today it was very educational for me um anyway love you don't get into trouble i can't get you out of have a marvelous day all the new people that came in thank you and i hope to see you tomorrow y'all be safe out there and we will see you sometime tomorrow same time bye guys <laughs>